Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Welcome to Soulflow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. This morning, I'm going to talk to you about domestic violence. I'm going to talk to you about another cop or retired cop in Jamaica, Squatty Dashway and wife, right? This is becoming something all too familiar, all too regular. And it seems like even when it happens, the perpetrators don't really get any time. Justice is not served to the victims, their family. And it's just one big thing that keeps going on and on and on. We were supposed to discuss this in the live recently, if you missed the live on Sunday night. But we didn't because we covered four major other topics that I think you need to go see if you have not seen yet. Shout out to Father and Sons TV. If you have not been subscribed yet, go and check out Father and Sons TV. There's a brother of mine that lives in the UK. He's a father, a proud father, and a dedicated father to his children. And you know I, SoFlo TV, I'm all about the family, especially the important part of a father being there for his children. All right? We don't want no hurry, drug up, picnic, running around the place, causing havoc in society. We need decent men to stand up firm like column in their children's life. And when I see a brother doing that, I give my applause. All right, so Father and Sons TV, go tune in. Their channel is clean. It's about them walking around just asking people trick questions and him and his children having fun in different parts of the UK. But they are Jamaican or he is Jamaican. So go support my brother, please. Father and Sons TV. That's the name of their channel. Shout out to my people going out to work this morning. Shout out to the people coming in from work. Extra special big up and shout out to the people who work two jobs. Huh, a lot of people don't know how you do it, but I know how you do it. You are filled with what they call determination, my friend. All right? And I take my hats off to you. I respect you to the fullest. You're not robbing nobody for them things. You're not selling drugs. You're not selling body parts. If you know what I mean, you're not degrading and doing anything derogatory. You are getting up and putting your shoulders to the wheel, grinding for what you want. And not that kind of grinding, may I talk neither. All right, shout out to my truck drivers. Shout out to my stay-at-home moms and pops. Shout out to the children who are off to school again because them free paper bun up and summer is over with, right? All right, shout out to my nurses, shout out to everyone in the medical field. I can't just say nurses, because then I have to shout out my CNAs, my doctors, my therapists, my, you know, the whole list goes on. So even down to the custodians that's cleaning up the hallways and all these things. Shout out to every single good, clean-hearted individual that wants good for themselves, but actually wants that same level of good for others. You're a good human being, and that's what the world needs. More good human beings. People are, I don't know, man, shabby. All right, so before I go into this retired cop in custody after his wife was... All right, check this out. I came across a channel and got to found out, find out that there were more channels like this. I'm not going to give this channel any promotion. I'm just going to use it for a teaching point, and it will only take 60 seconds. I was surprised to know that my fellow YouTubers, Jamaican YouTubers, actually think it's okay or they're so interested. If you want to make a YouTube channel, make a YouTube channel and put your all into it, okay? Be you, be yourself. It is your brand of you that people will come to your channel for. I'm going to do a master class on YouTube, but I'll hold that off for a minute. I was surprised to find a channel <laughs> where it's totally dedicated to how much SoFlo TV makes on YouTube and all these other kind of things. Like, we watch each other's pockets and our progress so much that we don't even pay homage to the grind. I pay homage to the grind of people. I don't watch their pockets. I don't care what you have materialistically because, guess what? I don't know what you have to do to get it and I don't know what you have to do to keep it. Also, a lot of the times I see people being jealous over other things that people have, other people have, but they're not willing to get up and do half the work it takes for that person to have the little that they have or the a lot that they have. You know what I'm saying? So stop watch other people things, 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 especially if you're the kind of person that's not willing to get up and go work, work hard to get it. You're pointing at a man who burns the midnight oil while you're in your bed comfortable that man is up all night back to the next day and then no sleep goes on to another job 
You had a full eight hours of sleep. You're well rested. And you're over here talking about what somebody has. Anyways, no jealousy. We don't move with jealousy. Or we don't move with red eye. All right? Big up to the people them who work hard. Shout out to the people them who work smart. Shout out to the people who are able to save something. Every little mickle mecca mucka. That means put a little something away. All right? Eventually, a little something you're putting away will start to add up to a lot. They have a saying, and it says, work hard, spend a little, and save a lot. All right? Use that. Okay, so this retired cop in, is in custody right now after his wife was, he actually used a knife to stab out our neck. All right? 62 years old retired police inspector is in police custody following the death of his wife at the couple's Cumberland home in Portmore, St. Catherine on Saturday. Shout out to my Portmore people because I'm over in Portmore every time I go to Jamaica. Every single time. I just, I have a love for Portmore, right? I was, when my dad was um, in the military, I used to live somewhere close to Portmore. So at one time I even got lost over there and I went back to capture childhood memories of being in that area. And I've since fallen in love with Portmore. All right, but anyway, to be 65 years or 62 years old, 62 year old retired police inspector, you know, is in custody. The deceased has been identified as 65 year old Pamela Manning. So he was, uh, she was three years older than he was. No big age difference, same age pretty much to me, right? She's Pamela Manning of Potterdale Avenue, Cumberland address. Now, can you imagine being 65? You wait till you're 65 to get stabbed up and dead. And not, oh, not, not say it's somebody that broke into your house, but it's your lover, your love. The love of your life, actually, because you married this person thinking this is my forever person, right? The Constabulary Communication Unit, the information arm of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, has confirmed the incident is true. We understand that on August 17th, the couple had a dispute at their home at about 10 p.m. at night, during which the husband allegedly used a knife to inflict a wound to his wife's neck. The husband was subsequently arrested, a CCU representative told Claude Mills from the loop news and if you don't read loop or follow loop follow them they normally have up to date up to the minute uh follow-up of the latest breaking stories anyways i see that there's an issue going on with our people man and i don't know some people are saying like in the comment section they said everything that i have wanted to say one person said what's going on in jamaica nothing can be resolved again verbally Death seems to be the only solution for some. And I would say for many. She was my client, Stephen Yee Singh says. She was my client. I am so brought to tears by this. Juju Brown says, wow, condolences. Robert Thomas says, something's driving these people crazy. No love is in them anymore. No love is in them anymore. Something is driving them crazy. We are going to do a whole segment, a whole show, actually. And I want you to stay tuned for the whole show because I might just go random on. And if you miss it, then you're going to have to catch up to it. But people might say, why are you talking about Jamaica? Other things are going on in other places. I have to keep on reiterating to people that Jamaica is such a beautiful, small island in comparison to, say, for instance, I'm living in the state of Florida. You could fit Jamaica into the state of Florida one, two, three, four, a couple, couple, couple times, right? The entire country into one state. So it baffles me that so much murders, murders, murders are going on. And the kind of murders, like one time gone is gunman to shoot up everything, which that has been happening on rapid. I just have not been speaking about it. It's been a lot of doubles and triples lately. I ache to know what the number is going to be at the end of the year but my biggest thing right now is this why is it that there cannot be any resolution to these domestic disputes why is it that there cannot be 
come and could talk it over. Or I don't like what you have to say and I don't even like you, but I'm going to go my separate way and let you go your separate way. Why does it have to end with a life being taken? Is it something that's really... Because people are starting to speculate now that they're flying over Jamaica and they're spraying the air. They're putting something in the food that's being sent into Jamaica, imported in. These are all speculations. They're poisoning the water supply with something that is experimental. And they're putting it in certain areas. And someone is sitting back like a mad scientist and documenting. Okay, so remember after we sprayed here or after we delivered this much of this, that the, there was a spike in homicides among uh, domestic issue disputes, etc., etc. Is there some kind of mad scientist something going on? Or is it just the doggone people? Don't have any more love in themselves. Come on, at 65 and 62, this isn't somebody that even in their 40s or 30s, this is some grown, somebody, this is grandparents' age, right? So how do you get to that age after a life of what? Uh, inspector of the JCF. And you get to that age, retired, chilling at home. I stub out your wife's neck in an argument and she's 65 and you're 62. Could there not have been another resolution to this? Another solution to whatever the issue was? It's happening way more. There's another story that I didn't talk about where the brother killed the girl and leave her on the bed and put the baby on the bed. And to watch this, watch this madness. Puts the baby on the bed with a pot of rice and peas. And when uh, rice and peas and curry chicken, and they did not realize, the neighbors, nobody realized until days later, I believe it was like four days later. The and this is an apartment building and no one heard a baby crying. I'm sure that baby had gotten to the point where it cried as loud as ever. But I guess also the baby realized nobody is coming and just stopped crying. When they found the baby, the baby was sitting on the bed, of course, heavily soiled. It's been four days. Baby do the pee pee up itself. The pot of rice and peas and curry chicken sit down right there on the bed. The baby, I believe, was uh, a year and change old. And the baby must have been trying to feed itself out of the rice and peas and curry chicken. The person that did that, they did that and then said to themselves, me not going to hurt the baby, but me not going to leave the baby here so let the baby go and eat in front of the baby's dead mom until somebody find them. But me, me gone. And he went on the run. They haven't found him since. Okay? And it's a typical story in Jamaica where it happens and they can't find the person who did it. He escaped in nearby bushes or escaped on a yang yang that was waiting down the street two blocks away. Whatever the case may be. Big, big, that's a big part of what we have to talk about. But we're definitely going to go live and talk about domestic issues and resolving domestic issues because I think our brothers and sisters need to hear from us more concerning that. It don't have to always end with Adashwe, right? Anyways, not a party pooper this morning. Again, shout out to everybody who's going out to work, coming in from work. Shout out to everybody who's off to school. Big up on the self, manners and respect. I love who love me and who don't love me. I still pray for you, all right? And I don't pray bad prayers either. I wish the best for you just like I wish for myself, okay? I wish you nothing but success and a life filled with love and happiness. Life is going to bring you all the other traumas and dramas. You just have to figure out how to deal with those. But don't wish no extra trauma and drama up in anybody else's life because karma is real and it will visit your life as well, all right? When you dig grave, them Sefi dig too. All right? It's so Flow TV, man. I'm out. Up, up, up. That means wake up, wise up, and rise up. All right? Peace.